Hello, it's uh, it's David uh, David Colson from Peripheral Games again, and it's another um, it's another vlog today. Um, and again, I have Killing Floor. Uh, I didn't have much time to uh, source out something new, and I've been playing Killing Floor for the last week, so figured I'd just continue playing it. Um, no, so this is a this is a round of Killing Floor, and me. <coughs> Sorry, um, me going to talk about the uh, the community game, which I talked about two weeks ago, and a little bit last week. But I talked about two weeks ago when I said that uh, we were taking submissions for the community game, um, so that basically the community game, the community um, submits ideas for the game, and then the community votes on whichever one they like the best. And I make the game with constant support and help from the community, and the uh, the the profits from the game. Go back to the community in the form of Kickstarter donations and such. That's that's basically a gist of the project. But um, submissions are over. And as of this morning, when I recorded this video, which is actually the day before you're going to be watching it. So Saturday. You'll be watching it on Sunday, I think. Anyways. Um, I put up the <coughs> the uh, the voting system on, on, uh, on the Peripheral Games site. So you can, uh, you can vote for... Um, you can vote for your uh, your favorite game. There's four four games. Uh, um, four games were submitted to the uh, four idea. Well, no, more than four were submitted, but uh, four ideas I've picked. Um, give me a minute. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, sorry, some background noise there. Um, so uh, four games I've picked uh, based on. Are the games actually doable in the scope of time, the time frame for the game? Can I actually do them? Do they require fancy technology that I don't have access to? So on and so forth. I, I've picked out the best four, and then you can jump jump over to the website, read what the four ideas are, and then vote. So if you could do that, I would I would please love you too. Um, <coughs> second thing I want to talk about was um, People who've been following uh, Peripheral Games since the very beginning, which was a year and a half ago now, actually, um, know that I started out pretty much knowing nothing about game development, and over the last year and a half, I've um, I've learned a lot more, and I've it's just been learning for me. Um, I mean, I've never I haven't I haven't shipped a commercial game yet. It's just it's all been about learning, and I want to continue this trend because I'm now quite good at uh, Unity. <coughs> I wouldn't say I'm an insanely um, expert person, but I know it extremely well. Um, so, what I want to do is uh, move on to other things. And so I've decided uh, to do this sort of large project. Over the next, uh, well, couple of years actually, I want to make several games on several different engines slash framework slash languages um, so that I can learn lots um, which I want to do so um, the games I've 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 kind of been dreaming up some ideas and I can't really talk about the games now because they're still in pre-production I haven't even started making them and some of them I won't even start making for like a year and a half so I can't really talk about them but basically what I've done is I've lined up a selection of games that I want to make in the various different engines, and those engines are um, Neo Axis, which you've heard me talk about, uh, Cry Engine, um, Unreal Engine. Those are the three 3D games, and then I want to do some 2D games. I want to do a free online Flash game using uh, uh, Flash Punk and Action Script because I haven't done that before. Um, I want to make a, a game with uh, XNA uh, and Mono for to make it cross-platform. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there was something else. I can't remember what it was. Where's my... No, nope, it's not around here. My notebook. Never mind. Um, so that's basically going to be it. Um, and these will be not... These games that I'll make in all these engines won't be like fully fleshed out. Like amazing games that I spend years in. I'll spend several months um, on each game so they will be um, fleshed out and polished some of them will be commercial some of them will be free um, 
and the idea is just to learn as much as I can about many things. And I actually asked on Twitter yesterday, um, is it better to to be good at everything or to be like ridiculously good at one thing? And I got some mixed reactions. And but for the most part, a lot of people said you should probably focus on one thing. And um, which doesn't make me feel so great about doing this project. But I I do I, I'm still going to do it because. For me, it's not about it's not about a job or money or anything like that. It's just about learning new things and and having new experiences in the game industry and getting as much experience as I can of so many different aspects of the game industry. That's why I'm doing this. And I already know, as I said, I know Unity very very well. So I'll just use that, use Unity as my as my thing that I know best. Anyways, um, the video is coming to an end. So tell me what you think about uh, today's talk, and I'll see you next week.